Yo, what's up, Ralph Fenners? It's Richie Three up the Pretty Hole Two here. I have another Railworks Three 2012 tutorial for you guys. Now, this is going to be sort of like a part two of the tutorial I made about a year ago for uh, Railworks Two. I how to drive a steam engine with expert controls. So I'm going to finish that up here just to because uh, I had some kind of some problems with my last video. So here we have the big boy locomotive with uh, the enhancement upgrade. Which basically makes the locomotive a lot faster. Um, but the same principles that I apply here will be able to be applied to any locomotive as long as you have expert controls on. Alright, so first off, uh, we got to reverse up and connect to the cargo, which is back there. Otherwise, this mission would be too easy. So I'm going to reverse the switch and. Yeah, I'm not using any uh, locomotive helpers or anything, it's just the locomotive, the big boy, and the cargo. This is one of the parts that's tricky. Uh, now wait for your boiler pressure to reach maximum, so 280 is the maximum for this one. Now and increase your reverser right here, this middle switch, put that all the way up to 75%. And then hit C to put the cylinder cocks on just to even out the steam pressures and everything, just makes it take off a little quicker. Then slowly edge the throttle up, not too fast though just so you get a nice speed going, just so all the cars get up to speed and then as soon as this seems to um, level off then you can edge the throttle up a little bit more yeah the problem with my last video was you couldn't hear me over the, s the sound of the engine so I'm gonna make it in this video, you can't even barely hear the engine at all so you can actually hear what I'm trying to say to make it a little better of a tutorial, alright now we hit the throttle even more because we want to get faster now when we, reach, when we reach about 10 or 15 miles an hour, you're going to want to take this uh, reverser here and, and start edging it down. And uh, That actually, uh, it just makes it so your engine uses the steam more effectively at higher speeds. Alright, looks like my cargo is moving pretty well here. Now while this thing is still getting up to speed, I'm going to take a look and see my route and make sure... Everything is all set here. This is Barstow to Stan Bernardino, by the way. I'm going to stay on the left track. Alright, this looks good. I can turn the cylinder cocks off by pressing C. Alright, I'm going to start edging the reverser down. I'll hover around 60. Okay, we're coming around the last curve here, and after that, I'm going to start really throwing this thing in. Because right now I can't really go very fast because I've got to get around this curve here and then I'm going to take off. I know uh, with a couple of my videos I had problems with brightness levels too. I'm not really sure why that is. Some videos turned out brighter than others. Uh, so I turned up the uh, brightness of the, of the actual game. But you still, I mean, it's probably really hard to see. I can actually see a great deal in here right now which is odd. Alright, let's... Alright, what do we got? Freight's 55 miles an hour. Alright. So I'm gonna edge my throttle up to about 50%. See, this thing increases the speed dramatically with this enhancement upgrade, or performance upgrade, I should say. And uh, right now I'm gonna wanna decrease the reverse. Now watch what happens to the speed when I decrease it. Alright, yeah, I had to give it some more throttle. See? And what the main thing you guys want to watch out for is right here. This is the steam uh, generation rate, which is around 48,000. This is steam usage rate, 22,000. Now, when you take on when the the engine takes on water, which is moving water from the tender to the boiler to create steam, this usage rate go. I mean, it doubles, and maybe even triples. I don't know. It gets a lot higher. Sometimes it gets higher than the generation, but that happens. So you just got to get used to that, and to give yourself a nice headroom like that, just in case the engine does randomly take on water you don't completely lose all your steam 
Alright, then it's good from here on out. We got a green signal up there. And from Outworks 2 to Outworks 3, the videos, um, the things that are different are the physics seem to be more pronounced as in the, the locomotives just don't go 0 to 60 in freaking like 2 seconds. They actually have, they feel like they have more weight to them. And especially since you can see, like they have an increased physics engine and a better physics engine. Okay, there's just a major lag. For some reason, this game loves to load really far away textures really early. Um, I mean, I even turned the distance on, so you can't even see the mountains. They just look like a blue haze. If I turn them down, just try to try to help with that, but it still does seem to lag. I think that's an issue, really, with the game. All right, um, I'm gonna start bringing down the reverser even more here, just by pr tapping the S key. All right, so I'm gonna try to get up to 60 because there is a gradient. So I'm gonna punch it here, moving my uh, throttle up. I'll keep it around 80s. I'm gonna bring the reverser down even more since I'm picking up more speed. Try to keep the generation rate high. See, we aren't picking up that much speed. Th these are heavy, really heavy cargo. Uh, uh, it's just coal here, but there's a lot of them. And there, see, you can hear that in the background possibly, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's taking on water right now, see the actually the usage rate really isn't that high, it's 44,000 generations at 68,000 really not bad at all alright, I'm going to go up to 100% uh, here really decrease the reverser, I'm going to go 25% and this the, this combination between the two, it's really just messing around, there isn't really a, uh, a strict like guidelines as far as as far as that goes to drive those, but see we're at a gradient here too. I want to catch up as as much extra speed as I can so I don't stall on the hill. And with this heavy cargo I have here, I don't want to. It's even it's even uh, more difficult to uh, to get up this hill. Yeah, two percent grade. 51 miles an hour. There's that lag again. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. Unless if I maybe had an SSD or something, but it'd still be it'd still be there. Oh, also another quick uh, Railworks news. There's Railworks 2013 is coming out in about a month from this date. So in uh, September of 2012, and uh, it, I'm pretty sure it's a free upgrade if you have uh, Train Simulator 2012 right now. Heck, I bought uh, Train Simulator 2 like year two years ago or something like that. And it was terrible. I never bought and never played it. But as soon as 2012 came out, I started picking it up again, and it was it was a lot better. So maybe the third one will, or the 2013 will bring some new features to the table. I know they're trying to do something with an Xbox 360 controller. I mean, give give me your thoughts on that in the comments there. I really don't want to think about that. I have an Xbox controller. I don't know if I'd use it to control trains though. It seems a lot easier with the keyboard and, and the mouse, just because it's it just seems quicker. Um, but I, I usually use my Xbox controller for games like Need for Speed and maybe, actually that's about it because it works really well with Hot Pursuit. Um, can we have a higher ground? Let's get back to this. Let's see if I can either bring this down or up a little bit. I'm going to bring it up actually to get more speed. As long as this stays, the user stays underneath the generation, I'll be good. You know it would be great too if they released a version of this big boy for the 2013 mod, 2013 version of Wildworks, because this version here, I mean, it wasn't that great. I mean, the headlight doesn't really work. the The performance was really off. I mean, it was extremely weak for what it was. But like I said, with some quick enhancements and just googling and finding stuff online, it seemed to fix those problems. Let me go take on a more water. Let me lower this down a little bit. So we're at 54 miles an hour. Limit is uh, 79, and it looks like there's a pretty steep grade. But I mean, if this thing is—I mean, look at it—it's—it's it's going hard. 55 miles an hour up a hill. I mean, that's pretty good, if you ask me. Um, because these uh, diesel locomotives tend to do that. I mean, probably on the same speed, maybe even slower, maybe faster. I'm not sure. But it seemed like the. The uh, the performance back really did help. I mean, it definitely did help. Okay, it looks like there's a. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to slow down here. It looks like there's a 
We're losing some track here. Um, I, they really should have given me a warning about this. Uh, I don't, it doesn't look too bad, but uh, shoot, that's actually kind of a steep. Uh, shoot, I did not see that. Oh shoot, how are we looking? Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Slow the hell down. Oh look at look at this. Look at this. This is crazy right here. Look at this physics. Look at these physics. Watch this. Whoosh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well that was odd. Alright, let's we gotta put bring up some speed again, shit. Well, that was terrible. I did not expect that to happen. My bad, guys. Or well, whatever. At least we didn't fall off the tracks. Alright. I don't know. Uh, i bring this down a little bit more. See, it's a 2.3% grade. Uh, seems like for a while now. Uh, we, we are, what, way up here now? Yeah, we're here. Uh... Oh yeah, this this is the route that's oh okay, yeah, this is the desert route. Yeah, okay. So it's gonna continue like this, I mean to I think the halfway point maybe toward the tunnels in the in the middle section of the railway. I don't remember. But uh anything else, I mean when you stop right here, let me just do a stop. You wanna bring the regulator all the way down, obviously. Uh put this, I mean, this doesn't really matter where you put it, maybe zero percent. And then just slowly apply the brakes. So just Hit them on real quick and then take them off. So it says apply. Just in case you want to stop at a station or something like that. You just got to give yourself enough uh, headroom so you don't overshoot the station because it reversing seems like it takes more time to do than uh, going forward a little bit. And right, now we're stopping fairly quickly here. Alright, let's really push it on here 100%. And if you really are in a pinch, you can throw the Verser 75 and hit the uh, regulator. It doesn't like it when you do that, though. But you can if you're in a pinch and you really need to stop. Well, that's it. I mean, that's basically how to drive a uh, Steam engine, or in this case the big boy, with expert controls in Railworks 3 2012. So if you have any questions, leave them in the description or uh, message me, whatever works. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and like to see more. Uh, this helps support my channel and everything I do with it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you later and keep it real.